Coach Weekly has talked several times this year about the veteran leadership on this team. Just how much do you think that has impacted the success you guys have been able to find this season? Yeah, I think it's like, affected us a lot just because we've kind of been there, done that in all aspects. We've had seasons where we haven't gone as far in postseason, and then obviously last year having the success we have had. So I think the leadership um, helps a lot with the ups and downs and the adversity of season. So it's just good that it's, there's a group of nice sized group of us that um, can help in all different aspects and lead in different ways. Raleigh, what did it mean to come back after the loss Saturday to come back and do what you guys did, able to come out with the win on Sunday? Yeah, it meant a lot just because that was a tough series. They had um, a lot of credit to LSU. They have really good pitching, really good hitting, and we knew it was going to be a battle, but it meant a lot that we were able to grind it out, stick it through, and just put it to them. So what's in the water here at Tennessee? The men are smacking home runs left and right. You guys had four uh, yesterday. Uh, the hitting seems to really be improved, isn't it? Yeah, all around. I think we're in a little competition with baseball, it feels like. I mean, they hit a ton of home runs past couple weeks, but it's just, I feel like no one wants to be the one that's behind, and if that makes sense, in all aspects of Tennessee athletics. Like, you want to be the top dog, and so we're not only competing nationwide, but within our own athletic department, and who's the best, so. How have y'all been preparing for Kayla Beaver and then Alabama? Yeah, she is a really good pitcher, and so we've just been up in the velo because she pitches in the high 60s, low 70s, and so just up in the velo, getting her timing with that, and just really grinding at that because she's a good pitcher. Yesterday after the first inning, looked like there was a little huddle where Kiki talked for what seemed like a minute, maybe two minutes. Just what about her presence and her leadership makes people listen to her? Um, leadership is all about influence, and she can step on the field and she will influence us whether she says something or not. So when she opens her mouth, everyone turns their head and they're listening because she not only leads by example, but she leads with her words. And so she does the right thing on and off the field, and that's just what a leader does, and we follow right behind. Uh, last road series of the regular season, now what are you hoping to get out of this one? Well, I'm hoping to win it all, win every game. Alabama's a tough environment. Tuscaloosa is a tough environment. Last time we were there was my freshman year, so it's pretty full circle because that was my first SEC away series, and to finish it off there, last away series. It's a tough environment, but that also makes it super fun. Um, so I just want us to pull all the wins out of it. What do you think this team learned from the LSU series that will be beneficial going into these tough last two series? Um, I think we learned just another aspect of how to face adversity. Um, each series comes with its own adversity in a different way, and LSU brought us in yet another challenge, and for us to just grind it out and score in the later innings was really key because we know we can hold a team, a really good team, in the first part of the game and then grind it out, have good at-bats throughout the whole game, and then eventually it will fall. What does it say about this team that you were able to have the depth shine last night with Katie Taylor and James Brockenberg both hitting those home runs? It's something that we get to see at practice every single day, and I'm just glad that everyone was able to see it and they were able to show everyone, but every single day, the girls who not necessarily play every day, they're showing it in practice. So it meant a lot to us, but it's something we see every day and that we're really used to coming from those girls. How impressed are you guys in the field behind those two, those two ladies and what in the circle and what they're doing this season? Um, we were super impressed. They give us a chance to win every single game and they just grind out every single game and they just have patience with our offense and let us do what we need to do to score runs. So just them two in the circle, they just do a phenomenal job of holding teams and doing everything that they can to feed the rest of the defense, ground balls and pop flies and everything. Do you think that having that dual threat in the circle with Carlin and Peyton is kind of unique when it comes to the modern day softball era? Oh, it is unique. They're so very different and we, got, we get to face them in practice, which prepares us for the challenges that we face against other teams. They're so different in what they do and how they go at people and just their aura in the mound, but it just makes them really special because they're so different, but they're both beasts.